Now, a very few formula will be there in the chapter indices, which basically deals with algebra. A power m into A power n. So basically I will have A only in the base. The power I have n. So base is same. A power m into A power n is equal to A power m plus n. For example, 2 power 3 into 2 power 5 I can write as 2 power 8. Okay. Then a power m divided by a power n is equal to a power m minus m. Third one, a power minus m is equal to 1 by a power m. For example, I can say 2 power minus 3 is equal to 1 divided by 2 cube. Then a power m whole power n is equal to a power m into m a power m. Then a power 0 is equal to 1. Anything power 0 is 1. Then a power x is equal to a power y implies x is equal to y. We often get a problem like this. 2 power x plus y is equal to 2 power p plus q which implies what? When the bases are equal, powers will be equal. So x plus y will be equal to p plus q. Okay, a power x is equal to a power y, we say x is equal to y and some examples I am going to take now, okay. Now what is square root of x? It is x power 1 by 2. What is cube root of x? It is x power 1 by 3. What is nth root of x? It is x power 1 by n. Right? Now, I want to write, you know, 32 power 1 by 5. How do I write fifth root of 32? First of all, ignore the power. Look at the basic number 32. Now I would say you keep in mind these three numbers 2, 3 and 5. Try to write the given numbers as a factor of 2, 3 and 5. Now moment you Look at 32, nothing comes to your mind other than it is 2 power 5. At this point, I would say friends, you have to remember what is, you know, 2 power 1, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 3 is 8, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 5 is 32, 2 power 6 is 64, 2 power 7 is 128, 2 power 8 is 256. 2 power 9 is 512, 2 power 10 is 1024. This is something which you should always keep remembering. So therefore, what comes to my mind immediately looking at 32 is 2 power 5. But I have whole, whole power 1 by 5. Now only I will apply the formula. What formula? A power m whole power n is equal to A power m into n. So therefore, 
in the power whatever number is there i will have to just multiply so what is 5 into 1 by 5 1 so i get 2 as the answer okay now i'll take another example i want to write 81 power 1 by 4 now what comes to my mind at, at looking at 81 is 3 power 4 see minimum you should know 3 power 1 is 3 3 power 2 is 9 3 power 3 is 27 3 power 4 is 81 3 power 5 is 243 like this minimum so looking at 81 immediately what comes to my mind is 3 power 4 whole power 1 by 4 4 and 1 by 4 gets cancelled I get 3 right now here I will also like to you know continue with the basic formula which will be very useful in the indices chapter what we have seen in the first slide is only a plus b whole square and a plus b the whole cube now i wrote a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube but there is an alternate formula which is available which will be useful for us a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b similarly a minus b the whole cube a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube the alternate formula a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b sometimes the alternate formula is very useful to us also the a square minus b square formula is quite often used which is a plus b into a minus b and x minus a into x minus b it is x square minus of a plus b into x plus a b this also very quite often it is used x minus a into x minus b into x minus c is equal to x cube minus of a plus b plus c into x square plus a b plus b c plus c a into x minus of a b c and this form is also quite useful also a cube plus b cube there is another formula it is I can say a plus b the whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b or I can say a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square. Often these formula are used a cube minus b cube is equal to I can say a minus b the whole cube plus 3ab into a minus b or a minus b into a square plus ab plus b square. So this formula is also quite commonly used and more so in indices chapter we use this type of formula
Now, I will give an introduction to logarithm. Now, what basically is a log? Why this log is used? Now, in today's world, if I ask you to multiply, you know, 24 into 72, you will use your calculator or mobile immediately to tell me the answer. But lot of uh, statistical data without use of calculator, the manual calculation becomes very difficult to do. So that's why the log got evolved. Using log, we can easily do multiplication, division, finding the power of any number and so on. Now I will explain using log how we can find the values quite easily. Let me find uh, first give the introduction to basic formula in log. Now if you apply log of m into n, log will always have a base, normal base is always 10. In calculus, we give the natural log which is e. So normally we don't write base 10, it is understood. So what is log of m into n? Log m plus log of n. Log of m by n. You have a division of two numbers. When you apply the log for that, log m minus log n. Log of m power n is equal to n into log m. log a to the base a is 1. Log 1 to any base is 0. Log 1 to any base is 0. If log x is equal to log y, then x is equal to y. If log x is equal to log y, we say x is equal to y. Then change of base rule, change of base rule. Log a base b, how do I write? So basically you make a division, numerator you write log A, denominator you write log B, that's all over. Now what about base, any number of your choice, I can say C, okay. So log A base B is equal to log A base C divided by log B base C. Now what happens if I choose the base as A, numerator becomes log A base A which is 1, denominator becomes log B base A. So therefore log A base B is equal to log A base C by log B base C or 1 by log B base A. Now in this you have a chain rule, 
what is the chain rule log a base b into log b base c into log c base d into etc log y base z is equal to actually we should not say that it is getting cancelled but for your understanding you can assume b b gets cancelled actually cancelling is totally not permitted here but for your understanding you can assume that they get eliminated c c gets eliminated like that if you proceed what happens in the first term the main part is existing in the last term the base will divide so i will have log a base z then what happens to log a base b into log b base c into log c base a b b cancel c c cancel i write log a base a what is log a base a log a base a is 1 this is the chain rule okay now log versus exponent form how do you write log form as a exponent form and how do you convert an exponent form as a log form we are going to see if log a to the base b is equal to c then what is the equivalent exponent form what i wrote on the first line is a log form now i am going to write the equivalent exponent form a is equal to b power c this is the equivalent exponent form i will take an example for you to understand what is log 100 base 10 i'll tell you very simple way of remembering log base 10 is there okay numerator in the main part of log i have one okay followed by how many zeros three no how many zeros are there two zeros so answer is two so therefore now you will be interested to check whether log 1000 base 10 what is answer base 10 is there in the main part one is there followed by how many zeros 3 the answer is 3 now can you write can you write a uh, an expression connecting 10 to 100 an equivalent of this is 100 is equal to 10 square now you relate this equation with what i have written on top log form as a exponent form if log a base b is equal to c then a is equal to b power c if log 100 base 10 is equal to 2 then 100 is equal to 10 square okay so now you understood the basics of log okay so in the next slide we will see how to use log for multiplication and division friends now i am going to explain to you
how to find log of a number using ordinary calculator. This is going to be very, very, very useful for all of us because sometime uh, referring to log table will take some time. Sometime the log value may not be given. So what you will be having is only a ordinary calculator. Finding the log of a number using ordinary calculator, this method is very, very useful to you. I am going to explain with an example. I am going to take a number 1234, say 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I will find the log of a number, log of this number. Now there is no log value available here. And this is what you will be having an ordinary calculator. How do we find? So I will convert this calculator into a scientific one first. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, what is the log of 1234? Simply I should tap the log button. Now, you will see that log of 1, 2, 3, 4 is 3.0913 taking only the four decimals, I can say it is 3.0913. But then this calculator will not be available to all of us in exam. How do we find? Is a question. Now we will take the calculator. What we will be having in exam? Right? So we have a standard calci. So the objective is to find the log value of 1, 2, 3, 4. Now for this you have three steps. Please note down the three steps. What are they? Number one, after taking the number in your ordinary calculator, there will be a square root button like this. You tap that button 12 times. I am going to do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So note down this. Step 1, take the number. Step 2, apply square root 12 times. Now what is the next step? I am going to subtract minus 1 is equal to. So I got a value. So what is the next step? Take the number, apply square root 12 times and do minus 1. Now the last step, we will have to divide with what? divide with a factor. You can call it as my factor. I am giving the factor to you. You can call it as a GPS factor. What is that factor value? Please make a note, write in your notebook. 0 0.000-5623-126. I repeat, GPS factor 0. 0.0056231266. Now I already tap the button division button. 
now i'll do 0 0.000 5623126 see the answer 3.0931 we got the log values, right? Now, we have done this. If it's going to be a scientific one, uh, input the number, tap the log button, you get the value. But you don't have a scientific LC, you have a normal calculator as what I'm having. Since with this calculator, if I demonstrate, you will not be able to see it properly, I am using the calculator on the screen and giving you hands-on hands, hands -on training how to use an ordinary calculator to find the log of a number, okay? Now you understood how to find a log of a number using ordinary calculator. Okay. Now, the question is, sometimes we need to find the anti-log also. When you find log of a number, you need to find the anti-log as well. Now, the steps what I told you to find log of a number, you need to reverse it. Do you remember what, I, what steps I told? Take the number, apply square root 12 times, minus 1, divided by 0 0.000562326. Now what you do, just reverse the process, bottom up approach. And wherever you divide, you multiply, wherever you multiply, you divide, wherever you subtracted, you add, wherever you add, you subtract, wherever you took, took a square root, you square it. That is the reverse process, okay. Now what was the last step? divided by 0 0.00562312 now what i will do i have a number i need to find anti log of if you want you can write down the steps i can tell you the steps what you should do take the number the, the objective would be to find the anti log of a number write the objective objective is to find the anti log of a number step 1 take the number i take it Step 2, multiply with 0 0.000562326. Okay. Step 2, add 1. Okay. Step 3, Square it 12 times. How to square it? Into is equal to. I can do it square straight away. But for you to understand, I will also do how you can do in your calci. Squaring of a number means into is equal to. Into is equal to means square. And I need to do that for 12 times. How I should do? See. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Got the number. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we took the number 1, 2, 3, 4, found the log of a number using ordinary calci. The steps were take the number, put square root 12 times, minus 1 divided by GPS factor over. Now you have a number, you need to find the anti-log of a number. What you should do? Take the number, multiply with GPS factor, then plus 1 and into is equal to 12 times get the value. Right? So friends, uh, this video, I hope it's very, very useful to you. Uh, here, what we have done is, we have learned to use the ordinary calculator 
to find log of a number and also to find anti log of a number. So, friends, just now we saw to find log of a number using ordinary calculator and also how to find anti log of a number using ordinary calculator. Now, apart from this, let me explain using the table values how to find log of a number. I will take for example, log of 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 point 0, 9, 3, 1. This is what we just saw. Okay. Now, basically what you should understand the value of log will have two parts. One is the integer part, the other one is a decimal part. This is the integer part and this one is the decimal part. Integer part and decimal part. Now, whether this has got any relevance to the value for which you find log, yes, it has got a relevance. Now, again the number for which you have to find log, ignore the decimal part, take the integer part. Okay. Now, in integer, <coughs> you have to count the digits. How many digits this has got? Four digits. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands. Therefore, see friends, you see how many digits? Four digits. Just do one thing. Cut one digit. What do you see? The balance? Three. So therefore, the answer the integer part of the answer will be 3, 3 point. Now, where do I find the 0, 9, 3, 1? If you go to the log table against 1, 2, 3, 4, you will find 0, 9, 3, 1. So, the decimal part will be available in log table. The integer part of the answer depends on the integer part of the number for which you find log. If you go to log table and find, this is how you will write. So, then what will be the answer for log of 123.4? In the log table, there is no difference between, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 123.4 or 12.34, whatever it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's all. Log value will be given. So, it will be like the decimal part, there will not be any change. 0, 9, 3, 1. This you can get from log table. What about the integer part of the answer? I said you will have to go to the integer part of the question 123.4. So, you ignore 0.4 decimal part, take the integer part 123, 123. Units, tens, hundreds. Okay. Now, what you should do? Remove 1. What you have? 2. So, it will be 2 point. 
then now all of you will easily tell me what will be the log value for 12.34 from the log table I can find the value is 0, uh, 0 0.0931 what will be the integer part of the log value I will have to go to the integer part of the value for which I find log 12.34 ignore the decimal I have only 12, 1, 2, 2 decimals, 2 uh, places, 2 digits, units, tens. So, 2 decimals, uh, 2 uh, places, subtract 1, I get 1 point. Now, going by this order, what is log of 1.234? 0 0.0931 then what is log of 0 0.1234 it is minus 1 we write as a bar 1.0931 and goes on ok this is how you find you know log of a number Okay, now come to you know anti log. Now I want to find anti log of 3.0931. We know the answer, it is 1, 2, 3, 4. But then how to do that? Take the decimal part. Go to anti log table, take the decimal part alone, go to anti log table. Right now, I do not have a log table here, but then you can take the table and from the table you get a value. What is the value? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, from the log table, you can, anti log table, you can find. Now, this answer will have how many integers? See, it could be 1.234 or 12.34 or 123.4. We do not know. Which will determine? You have 3, isn't it? You add 1, 4, therefore, my answer will have 4 places. Integer will be having 4 places, that is units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So, I will have a decimal here. After that, I do not have any point, no? So, the answer is straight away 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I will take anti log of 2.0931. What I do? I take 0 0.0931, go to anti log table, write the value as 1, 2, 3, 4. I do not know the 1, 2, 3, 4, it, it consists of how many decimals and what will be the integer? I really do not know at this point. What I do? I go to the question. The question has got an integer. Integer number is 2. I add up 1. Therefore, my answer will have integer of 3 digits. That means from the left hand side, I will keep a dot after three numbers. What is the anti log of 1.0931 as usual? 1, 2, 3, 4. I will add up 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. I will keep a dot here. 
it is called 0.34 you understand now friends you understood you know how to find log of a number using the log table as well as the calculator okay now i'll take uh, some simple examples now how do we write some example problems log 8 base 10 what is log 8 i can write it as 2 cube what is 2 cube 3 log 2 base 10 I have log a base a b plus log b base a b. How do I simplify? You need to remember the formula. What is log m plus log n? Log of m into n. Log a b base a b. But we know log a b base a b is one. okay take another example 1 by log of a by abc plus 1 by log of b by abc A B C by A, A B C by B, one by log of A B C by C. But then, using the change of base rule, I can write this log as log of A base A B C plus log of B base A B C plus log of C base A B C. So what is log m plus log n? Log of m into n. So I get log A B C base A B C, which is one. Okay. So I take a few examples and explain how log problems could be. solved so friends we come to the end of this learning unit to summarize what we have seen in this unit is the introduction to ratios proportion indices log some introduction to mathematics simple formula pythagoras theorem and most importantly we have seen how to find log of a number in the coming learning units we will be dealing with the problems and solutions on this chapter hope this video is very useful to you thank you for your patient listening